Hey guys and welcome back. So um, I have something super interesting today. That is front end visualization trick to um, elevate your dashboard game. Boop boop. So let's get into it, shall we? Let's just put a table here. And in the table, I'm going to call a dimension. I'm going to say country. And I'm going to say my measure as well, sales amount. But how can we improve this? Well, we have sales amount and I can have another bar chart, but instead one cool thing is uh, to have spark lines. You know what are spark lines? Well, it's like this. So I'm going to go into edit. So uh, I'm going to add another sales amount. All right, there we have it. And now in this one, instead of having a number, I can actually tell click that I want it to be represented in a different way. That is in, let's say in a spark line or like a small little bar representation. How do you do that? Well, let's go into our measure here and let's scroll down. And over here we have a representation. So inside your measure, that is sum of sales, you have something called representation. In that representation, you click on text, right? Instead of text, you can have a bunch of other things. That is, you can have an indicator. So now you see colors here. And what you could do is you could represent it in different colors. For example, you could like add a limit. And as the limit changes, you could tell it that I want the color that this particular indicator has is different based on my sum of sales. So I can even add the color to my value here. That is, it says show value and then apply color to value. So now you see that a different color has been applied to those that reaches the limits. So I think this indicator is quite cool. But you know what I like even better than this indicator? Well, that is to use a mini chart. So what happens here when I use a mini chart? Well, it asks me select a dimension. So what do I want the mini chart to have a dimension as? Because this is a measure, right? So I'm going to choose my dimension as your month or month year in this case. So what exactly happens when I do that? Well, now essentially what Click has done is it's taken the sum of sales and it looks at my dimension Armenia and then it also looks at the dimension month year and then it plots a small mini graph here for month year for my dimension Armenia here. So um, essentially you can have like a visual representation of how things are progressing. And I think this is really, really cool. Well, you, you can even like make some changes and this is called a sparkline. You can make changes. That is, you can change the type that the sparkline looks like. For example, dots, for example, bars. I like having a bar because it shows you like a small little representation of what's going on. And we can even make this better. For example, now this is the sum of sales for our different countries and I can have a look like, oh, okay, cool. Um, this is how it's been progressing for different countries instead of having a different bar graph here and me choosing the countries. And I think this is really, really cool, right? Um, how can we make it a little bit better? Well, now we have bars. I can go into colors here and inside the colors. Now this is the bar color. I can always change this if I wanted, right? And I can also change the colors for the maximum and minimum value. For example, I can say all max values. I want it to be here and then all minimum values. I want it to be like this. So essentially we see what has been happening. So this kind of represents where did we have the maximum value for Ireland? when did we have the maximum value for Italy? The only problem right now is that if I bring my mouse here, it doesn't really show me when exactly was this, right? Like it doesn't show me the month year. So that's the sad part. But otherwise, I think this is a really, really cool way to show your um, data. So every time you do a table and you have a bunch of sales, well, why not put a little spark line in to put some spark into your dashboard? And this is also part of one of my course that's coming up for ClickSense enthusiasts. A lot of you all have been asking me so many times um, with tons of emails, when are you going to come out with the course? Because um, they like the way I teach. And you know what? 
I'm working on it. It's coming out soon. Please sign up for it in um, the newsletter link. So when it's out, I give you guys an early bird discount. And um, I would really appreciate your support. Thank you always for the kind messages that you send. I really, really, really appreciate it. Hope this helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.